guys, so it's Molly Pitcher again. Um, this time I'm wanting to know about your imaginary friends. Um, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about my imaginary friend, my very own Beagle. Um, so my imaginary friend was called Crystal. And when I was younger, she would come with me everywhere. And we had so many adventures. And in my head, she was a mermaid. Because I always wanted to be a mermaid. Um, and we would always have chats at night when we're meant to be sleeping. We'd go on adventures. We might get into a little bit of trouble every now and then. But we had a lot of fun. And I loved the beach. And whenever we'd go in the beach and she'd come with me, we'd just have so many adventures of swimming with all different types of animals and just really feeling free and having fun and having the company of my secret best friend with me which is really good um you know when I'd had a bad day at school or something she was always there to talk to and like whenever I needed her she would be there and it was the best thing ever and I feel like the good thing about the story that we've just read at Beehul is that everyone needs an imaginary friend everyone needs an imaginary friend everyone needs that someone to talk to um, and what better way to have that than your own secret best friend that no one knows about? It's just you and them. And I think that's what I really liked most about this book is how it tells you the importance of what an imaginary friend does and the lengths they go to to find you and you to find them so that you can have that connection with someone secret that no one needs to know about. So I'd love you guys to comment below and let us know what your imaginary friend was like or is like, tell us about them. What do you guys do together? Have you gotten into trouble together? You no, know, do you do your homework with them? Let us know. Thanks, guys.